this stuff there, Hardy's Home Rab, saved my build. I know it probably sounds extreme, but keep watching and I'll tell you why. It's cold Saturday morning here on site and we are about to finish off the cladding on this face. It's been a very long wait. When we started this build we couldn't foresee COVID-19 and then the ongoing supply issues that that's created. And that's meant that this wall has been sitting here uh, in this state for give or take probably three months. Hey, I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand. I've been building on the section that nobody wanted and we have just locked up the house. Usually reaching lockup is a massive and exciting milestone. This time has been a little bit different, however. This is a COVID-19 announcement. As most of you know, on Monday afternoon, the Prime Minister of New Zealand announced a four-week nationwide shutdown. These decisions will place the most significant restrictions on New Zealanders' movements in modern history. Now that we have to walk away from this build and the timeline is super unknown, I'm so glad that I made the decision to install Radboard. It means that our house is fully weather tight and this stuff can stand up to 180 days in the weather. I'm pretty confident I can get the cladding on before then. Uh, if you drive past a subdivision like this one here, you will see a bunch of houses covered, usually with a white paper. The paper goes between the frame in the weatherboard and that's how most of the houses I've built that's the product I've used. When I was talking to Hardy's about the section nobody wanted and changing the cladding from metal to linear oblique they asked if I'd considered RAB. RAB, R-A-B, stands for Rigid Ear Barrier. We're going to talk about cutting it and using it on site. We're going to talk about the extra costs and time that it added. And then I'm going to let you know my thoughts on it and if I would use it again. Keep watching. A couple of disclaimers. Number one, this is the first time I have used this product, so I'm by no means an expert. Although I have used EcoPly in the past, so I have something to compare it to. Number two, although Hardy's gave me an amazing deal on the product, I am under no obligation to make this video. And these are my genuine thoughts. First up, this is a fiber cement product. So there's two ways to install it. You can score and snap or you can use a saw, but that creates a lot of dust. And fiber cement dust is not that good for you. You need safety gear. To be honest, once I'd been wearing it for a couple of hours, I found it was just the same as putting your earmuffs on. It just kind of comes like, oh, chuck on my earmuffs, chuck on my mask, let's get into it. So point number two, when I first looked at adding RAB to the build, one of the things I weighed up was the cost of consumables and the cost of time. Definitely, without a doubt, it is more expensive than paper both on a consumables front and a time front you know so a paper house you could have the whole thing wrapped and taped in probably two days and then you crack on with the next stage so what about wrap well first up consumables we used about 20 rolls of tape and we went through about 5,000 nails. There's about $500 of nails and about $1,600 of tape. This is super expensive seller tape. And the second part of that was time. Again, this might be different if you're on a flat site, small three bedroom house, you're doing all four sides of the house. But I've got four floor levels and I have a slope, I have a higher start. It's fair to say that it took a lot of time, a lot more time than normal build to wrap. All up, I would have been a builder and an apprentice probably three weeks of time. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's kind of comparable to 
cladding the house twice. But again, keep watching, you'll see why all of that was worth it. The moment I started putting the sheets on the wall, I could see the benefit immediately. It was keeping the weather out, and yes, I know that paper does, but paper is like flimsy and breaks easy, and this stuff, as per its name, it's rigid, it's solid. And so we already had the roof on, and as soon as we started putting the barriers on the walls, it was keeping the weather out. We felt like the area was protected, but the best part was when the windows and doors turned up, the house was fully locked up, fully sealed. You know, on the website they mentioned that there is a noise reduction factor, and I can attest to seeing that happen immediately on site. We had to start opening the window to, or yelling to talk to people from inside to outside. But the best thing was that I could never have foreseen COVID-19 and lockdown and having to shut the site up and walk away. And so knowing that we have a solid locked up build. Yeah, someone could punch a hole through the rab if they were really keen, but way more solid than paper. The other benefit is this, this stuff is allowed to be exposed to the weather for 180 days. Not only was it the five weeks of lockdown, but there's been massive delays since lockdown that have meant that if I was using a paper product, technically I would have been outside of my exposure zone. There's been multiple occasions where I have said to my friends, I'm so glad that I used this red product. It's fair to say I would recommend it. Yes, there is definitely a cost and you have to weigh that up. Yes, paper is definitely faster, but being able to walk away from the house over lockdown, know that it was secure and weather tight was such a relief and it meant that when we came back, we could just get straight back into where we left off, not having to worry about replacing or fixing stuff or dealing with massive leaks. For me personally, I have seen the benefits of the product far outweigh the hassles, and I'm so glad that I included it in my house.